Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are making a vegan tortellini. These are homemade, all from scratch. Literally only used a rolling pin for this. I didn't use any fancy equipment. They came out amazing. They are time consuming. They will take you probably three to four hours to make all of these. So do it on a day when you know you have a lot of time. Do it on the weekend. Grab a friend of your significant other because they are definitely going to take a lot of time but they are so worth it they were delicious they were non-vegan approved by my mom and sister so you know they're good if non-vegan italians are approving of it and yeah you get a lot of tortellini with this recipe so it's awesome because you can freeze them and refrigerate them save them for later so yeah let me show you how to make them all right i'm starting this off with three cups of all-purpose flour i'm just going to take my spoon break up any clumps that may be in there and then we're going to add in some salt and turmeric the turmeric is optional but it adds a nice color and fresh pasta it was usually made with eggs and the egg yolk gives it a yellow color so that's why i'm using it you don't taste it don't worry so i'm just going to mix that together and then i'm going to add in some olive oil and we're going to give that a light mix together as well now we're going to be ready to add in our warm water and it's important to use warm water because it helps the dough to form and you're going to need anywhere between a cup and a cup and a half this is kind of where you have to go based on feeling so i add in about like a quarter cup to a third of a cup at a time mix it together a little bit add a little more water in again mix it together a little bit you kind of get the idea if you add in too much it's going to be too wet so you'd rather add in less and then just have to keep adding it may be a little bit tedious but it's the best way i found to do it so again just a little bit more here and it changes based on the weather how much flour you actually used how much salt how much turmeric like everything changes every time you make fresh pasta dough so don't worry if maybe sometimes you have to use a cup of water and other times a quarter cup so I can see now that the dough is pretty much ready to be kneaded by hand because the spoon's not doing too much anymore. So I'm gonna take my rings off and get in there with my hands. And at this point, the dough is pretty, um, it's like coming together a lot as you can see, but it's still a little dry and I could feel that it needed more water. And there was also all flour down at the bottom of the bowl still. So I just added in a touch more water and I knew that would be perfect. Like I said, add in less water because you can always add more. But once you add in too much, it's annoying to have to add in more flour. So at this point now, it looks good, it's smooth, and I'm just gonna finish kneading it on my counter with clean hands, clean counter, of course, please. And as you can see, it comes together really nicely, and it's super soft and smooth, and this is exactly what you want. This dough should be very, very soft, easy to form into a ball, push with your hands, easy, soft, smooth. This is what you want. So I'm just gonna put it into a bowl with a little bit of oil, and we're gonna let this chill in the fridge for an hour, and we're gonna keep it covered so it doesn't dry out. While that's in the fridge, let's make our tofu rigotta. We've done this plenty of times, crumbling up about three quarters of a block of tofu, about 11 ounces, adding in some nutritional yeast, salt, and almond milk, and we're just gonna blend. I used a third of a cup of almond milk. You can use any kind of plant milk you like. You may need to add a little more, a little less. Just depends on how much tofu you used. And yeah, this is it. And I'm just gonna mix it up with my spatula because I wanna like kind of get it see what the consistency is like and whatnot and I give it a little taste and I felt like it needed a touch more salt so I just mixed that all in I didn't do this with the blender because I liked the consistency it had reached it looks something like this perfect it's very easy to do this and then I put that in a bowl and I added a little bit of vegan mozzarella and this is going to be our filling for the tortellini you can fill your tortellini with anything you like but this is a very simple easy and delicious filling so I'm gonna pop that in the fridge now our dough is ready. It's been chilling for about 45 minutes to an hour. This dough will last in the fridge for up to three days. So if you want to make it ahead of time, I'm going to cut it in half. You guys know I like to work with halves. I just find it easier. And as I said, this dough is soft, smooth. So you're going to just wrap the other one up while you're not working with it. Going to put some flour on our counter and get that little dough ball into a nice big sheet of pasta. So I did this with a rolling pin. You can of course use a pasta machine. It will make your life a million times easier. I don't have one. So you can do this by hand, but it's gonna take you about 15 minutes and a lot of elbow grease. So just start rolling. I found it easiest to kind of roll a little bit and then pick it up and flip it and then roll and pick it up and flip it. That way nothing's actually sticking and you can add in more flour if you need to and be sure to pull the dough. You don't want any dough to kind of get folded over on itself. And you need this to be very, very, very thin. Like you need this to be as thin as you can get it because if it's too thick, then it's gonna be doughy. So here you can see how thin it is. And this took me 15 minutes to roll it out and it's almost actually see-through when I put my fingers underneath it. So that is the consistency you're going for. Okay, so then we're just gonna cut out circles. You can use a biscuit cutter or glass. I used a half cup measuring spoon. Use what you have in your kitchen, who cares? 
So this is what I use to cut out my circles and I actually only ended up doing half the dough. So this recipe that you see right here is only half the dough. So now we can make our tortellini and I am just going to line half of our circle with water and then pop in a little dollop of our filling. You're gonna fold the circle in half. So now you have this like half moon shape and you're just going to seal it really, really nicely because we don't want anything to come out. And then we are going to take the top half of this circle, the half circle, fold it backwards, okay? So now you're gonna kind of have this like rectangle and then you're going to take it in your hand and you're gonna wrap it around your thumb. Wrap one side over the other and just kind of like close the circle and that's it. I'll show you again a few times. And I found putting the filling in the piping bag made it so much easier to fill these. You don't wanna put a lot of filling in here. And how cute does this look? So you don't wanna put a lot of filling in here because otherwise it's gonna spill out. So either you can put a small scoop or the piping bag was really, really helpful to make this quick. And only put water on half of the circle. So again, we're gonna fold this over, fold it in half. This is exactly like how we made our pierogi. And give it a good seal. I just kinda of like to squish it around with my finger like this. So you're gonna give it a good seal, take that half circle, take the top of it, fold it back. So you're left with this rectangle that has kind of a folded edge in the middle. Then you're gonna take the two sides, wrap it around your finger, and that is it. You're gonna do this to all your tortellini. You wanna keep your dough circles covered and your tortellini covered while you're doing this because it's gonna take you a little bit of time and you don't want anything to dry out and they look cute and who cares what they look like. They're fun to make, they're fun to eat, and this is a great activity to get your kids involved in, and it's just a fun activity to do. So again, just doing the same thing and make all of them now. And these are them when they're all done. And see what I said, they look so cute, they don't need to be perfect, they're so fun, and now we're ready to cook them. If you wanted to, you can refrigerate them or freeze them at this point, and I'll have directions on how to do that on my blog. So let's make a really quick and easy sauce. I'm just gonna add some olive oil, water, and butter into a pan. Yeah, I know, it sounds weird, but just trust me. And then we're gonna add in some vegan Parmesan cheese, and I also added in a little bit of garlic powder. Yes, I'm using a whisk somewhere that I shouldn't be using a whisk. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> and you're just gonna let that melt while you cook your tortellini. So I have my water salted, and we're gonna add in about 10 tortellini at a time. Not too many, you don't want them to stick together. You don't want them to stick to the bottom of the pot. And I just like to take my spoon, move it around a little bit, make sure things sticking. Once they float to the top, they are pretty much done. I like to let them cook for another two-ish minutes, so they're really, really nice and soft and tender. And then once they're done, you can just transfer them into that sauce we made before. And this was delicious. It's easy to make and it just tastes good. And we're not trying to brown or crisp them up. We're just literally making like a very easy, almost butter sauce. And then I added in a little fresh spinach just to kind of add some green and color to the dish. But these are great. You can put them in soup, in any sauce you want. They're really easy. I covered it so the spinach would wilt. and now we are done. And how beautiful do these look? I garnished with some red pepper flake, dried parsley, and vegan Parmesan. And these were just beautiful. They are time consuming. They are a little bit of a labor of love, but I think they are so well worth it. They are so delicious. And it's really hard to find vegan tortellini anywhere. So you kind of got to make it yourself. And yeah, this is it. And I gave you guys a little inside cut shot. There's not really too much to see in here, but it's, it's really good, just trust me. All right, guys, that was our recipe. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, there is a link to the full recipe down below in the description box on my blog. Also, all the ingredients are written out in the description box. If you like this recipe, you already know. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Really, really helps the channel out. If you make these, tag me on Instagram. I love to see your creations. I have a whole little highlights on my Instagram page with all of your beautiful recipe creations. And yeah, I am going away to Las Vegas next week. Woo, I'm so excited, but there won't be any new recipes next week. I'll catch up with you guys in the second week of April for new videos. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.